Stage 2 of the Giro d'Italia will also start and finish in Belfast, but this time it takes in much more of the Northern Ireland countryside. It's a long stage, 218 kilometres, travelling from the city to the north coast and back down the famous Causeway Coastal Route to finish beside City Hall in the same place as Stage 1. From Titanic Quarter, beside the city airport and the famous old harbour, the race heads up through Newton Abbey in the shadow of the magnificent Cave Hill which provided the inspiration for Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. They ride into the centre of Northern Ireland, past historic Antrim Town, on the shores of Loch Ney, the largest freshwater lake in the UK. The road to the coast then takes them past Ballymena and Slemish Mountain, where St Patrick himself raised sheep as a young man. Above Port Rush, they'll turn right onto the famous Causeway Coastal Route. Just round the corner, I'm going to pick up a travelling companion who knows a thing or two about bike races. 27 years ago, an Irishman became only the second person ever to win the Giro d'Italia, Tour de France and World Championships in the same year. Here he is, Stephen Roach. Hi Graham, how are you? Good to see you my friend. Good to see you. You're all dressed, ready to ride the route yeah, stage exactly. two? I'm ready, are you? Yeah, I am. Let's, Let's go. go. Stephen, I'm sure whenever you were winning this race just over a quarter of a century ago, you never imagined you'd be seeing it on Irish roads. No, I mean never. It was something that was kind of impossible to imagine the Tour of Italy uh, going across waters across to start here in our, our country, you know. Absolutely amazing. Do you think people in here in Ireland have any idea of the scale of this race? I think that uh, people are going to be surprised by the, the size of the whole thing, the scale of the whole thing. It is the second biggest cycling event in the world. Tempting as it was to stop and spend an hour or two at the oldest distillery in Ireland, whiskey and cycling don't mix. And anyway, Stephen had to go and meet an old friend at the Giants Causeway. I guess 30 years since you and me have raced together, so uh, we'll just we'll, we'll drop that one in now. Hopefully, let's, just say, let's just say it was a long time. Years. It's a long time, yes. We've, we've, we've aged well, so have. What we have here is a travelling road show, as you know, the Giro itself, with the caravan and all in front of it. These roads will be used for years to come by our local cyclists from the clubs here, from the, the, the promoters of, of different events to ride the roads that the Giro is on. And, and I think this is something that, 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 that will be great for Northern Ireland to encourage people from all over the world that, that, to come and just, just be part of something that's really historical. And this particular uh, part of Ireland, the, the, gl the glens of Antrim, the Antrim coast, is something that we see on a daily basis, we maybe don't appreciate it. Well, I've been you know, all around the world a couple of times yes. on a bike and I've seen the most magnificent scenery all over the world. And yet when I come home, I'm always blown away. It's, Breathtaking, I think, is something that, that and we, we have it and we have to uh, share it with the rest of the world. Oi! Come on! The Peloton won't have much time for taking in the spectacular surroundings of North Antrim, but the fans and casual riders like Stephen and I will. Ballantoy, Carrigaree, Rope Bridge, Cushendall, and Cushendun, this area provides some of the most amazing views in all of Ireland and brilliant, if sometimes challenging, cycling roads. Well, Stephen, we're about halfway along the Causeway Coastal Route now. You must be impressed, are you? I'm <laughs> It's been a very hard day, I can tell you. It's been a most beautiful day, scenery-wise. What do you think the television pictures will look like? The stuff we've seen today, like there's been uh, sunshine, it's been cloudy, it's been overcast, it's been grey, it hasn't rained. But um, the, the scenery, like every time the light changes, the whole scenery changes. I think it's going to be a, an incredible spectacle. It's not every year the Giro comes here, so um, it's not going to go back again for a while, so uh, don't miss it. Huh? In the last section of stage two, the race passes the glens of Antrim, the harbour town of Larne, and Carrick Fergus Castle. Well, Stephen, it took us so long to ride the route, it's almost dark, but did you enjoy it? Well, we had a tourist route, <laughs> so uh, don't forget in May, but you're one of the best cyclists in the world coming along here. You're definitely going a lot faster than we were. <laughs> 10 miles now from uh, Carrick here, right into Belfast. They'll be sprinting at this stage. I think we should do the same. How about last one at the Belfast buys the beers? Up up the still water. Let's go. All right. right.